Hey guys, Silver Sean here today, and I'm bringing you my R7 360 overclocking guide. Now, I know there are a lot of overclocking guides for lots of different GPUs, and they all follow the same kind of method, but sod it. I thought I'd show you my method, which is probably the same as someone else's method anyway. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is download MSI Afterburner. Now, I know there are other overclocking softwares. I know EVGA has one, or you could use the one in Radeon settings, but I use Afterburner as it's just really easy and simple to use. After that, I'm going to download and install UniEngine Heaven Benchmark. Now, I know that Valley is the newer benchmark, but in my experience, Heaven is a little harsher on overclocks, and I'd rather the overclock work on a benchmark that's a bit harsh than one that will just let it pass, and then you find out later that the overclock is unstable while gaming. So now that I've installed Heaven, I'm going to run it in windowed mode and incrementally increase my core and memory speed in Afterburner and see if my driver crashes. If my driver doesn't crash instantly, then it's probably okay. I already know the limits of this card, so I'm going to stop when I reach it so my system doesn't crash. But if it did crash, I'd simply start again from the last successful overclock. So now that we have our overclock, I'm going to run it in full screen and see if the overclock is stable with both GPUs running. Since I know this overclock is stable, I'm going to save some time and jump ahead to the results. As you can see, the results speak for themselves, as in basically all of these videos, overclocking equals more performance. But still, I'm really pleased with the result, especially with the overclock crossfire result and how well the cards scale compared to a solo GPU setup. I know this video is similar to another video that I've done, but I just wanted to go a little bit more in depth with the overclocking side, as I wasn't 100% happy with my previous crossfire results video. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button. If you would like to see more videos from me, then feel free to subscribe. And until next time, this has been Silver Shaw.